Hello, welcome everybody to the Crypto Business Podcast brought to you by Tokenminds. I'm your host, Rob Igeram, director at Tokenminds, a blockchain agency that combines all crypto disciplines from marketing to development in one agency. In this podcast, uh, we are discussing any blockchain topic that is relevant for companies and entrepreneurs. Today is the fourth episode and we're going to talk about NFT content marketing strategies. I have in the podcast with me today, Hannah, who's an expert in crypto content and involved in a number of NFT projects. Um, let's start just for the listeners who are not that familiar with content marketing. We are defining that as uh, different forms of content in terms of PR, social media, influencers, even white papers and web content. Um, and it's a very important part of crypto marketing and NFT marketing. So, for example, at Tokenize, we have a dedicated department uh, for that. But let's go to Hanna. Uh, what would you say? Uh, how would you define your job as a content manager? Hi, Rob. Thanks for inviting me first. Um, as a content manager, I do a lot of stuff. Like, uh, but it all starts with creativity. The, the most important thing is to find the right people, to find the right professional creative team to work on on the content. Because without this, uh, everything can be automated now. And this is part of the conversation too. But uh, defining my job is like finding the right people, communicating with them, giving them content impulse and uh, Search in the market definitely is the most important thing to know what's going on, especially in crypto when uh, things change immediately and within one week you can have like crazy volatility of the market. That's it. Okay, great. Thank you for that. And how would you define the audience when, you, when you're working on the, the content? Defining audience in crypto is kind of tricky because like traditional uh, characteristic of gender, age, habits of uh, a target persona doesn't really work in crypto. Uh, what works in crypto is uh, communities, communities that are united by uh, interests, united by touch points. So you have to target communities. For example, if you have an NFT project, you have an ideal project, you have a token project, anything. You have to know who your people are. How to know that? You have to find the places together. For example, you can target Discord groups, you can target Discord channels, you can go to art lovers, you can find what they like. Just look the, look look into the places they visit and you're gonna you're gonna decide on the right target audience for a crypto project. Okay, that's very interesting. And what about the different channels that you're choosing to spread the content? Do you have any uh, strategy tips for, for that? Yeah, sure. Um, first of all, you have to know uh, what a project are definitely, uh, which, what a project is, and uh, uh, what's the technology behind your project. So after that, you can um, find influencers. Definitely, there are lots of influencers on the market who propose their services. But you, there are like so, sort of guys who just uh, sell their their opinions, and uh, this is not the guys we're looking for. You have to find the real experts who create like free content, and uh, these guys have to like your project. And how to do that? It's about it's all about content. You have to create techy, engaging, and uh, attractive content for the audience. So, uh, how to find a strategy for your uh, for your project? The thing is that you can go to communities, you can go to uh, Discord channels, you can go to Telegram groups, but uh, you can't like you can't post. Uh, influencer post, you can publish uh, your PR article, press releases everywhere. You have to choose uh, between uh, between like CoinDesk, which is super crypto uh, crypto magazine, uh, between social media, etc., etc. But my advice, you uh, 
you have to try everything. Like you can, you can definitely and should go to social media because social media a rule in crypto communities. Crypto is definitely freedom of money, it's, it's freedom of in, in investments, it's freedom of people's choices. So social media is number one. And the second, you can embrace the traditional magazines, you can embrace um, uh, traditional magazines, you can go to Coindesk, Cointelegraph to get the best outreach. So I would try both. Uh, to get the outreach, outreach uh, to get the PR, and go to social media to get the um, to get the other people. Yeah. All right, all right. And is there any automation involved in in that strategy? Yeah, sure. You can. Um, speaking about automation, it's really important now, especially when you work with uh, scalable project that need a lot of content uh, when you're launching, when you like uh, doing the PR um, campaign, because like you, you can't hire a lot of people to create this much content. That's why automation uh, is really important here. Um, for example, if you want to create PR articles, if you want to create blog posts, and definitely you will need more of them, you can use now um, uh, robots to create you for that. For example, I use um, Jasper. Uh, this is conversion AI. Uh, this tool helps. It's not. It's not a. It's not an advertisement, by the way. Uh, this tool helps me to create like blog posts, and uh, like you don't have to. You don't have to spend hours on do on SEO optimizing it. You just uh, need to have a template. Uh, so you get a template uh, and uh, you get a topic, you get keywords and after that you can create like full uh, qual high quality blog post with this too. So super cool that you can delegate such, such outreach things to robots. Uh, you definitely can use um, spelling uh, check with Grammarly which is super super cool because it, it is uh, also uh, very helpful for us and uh, yeah speaking of automation with text and uh, when you use for example you have an interview and we definitely have lots of interview with when you create content you need to reverse audio to uh, text text to audio and you can there are now there are lots of tools on the market you can use speechify uh, or something like that to convert, um, to convert your audio to uh, text and vice versa. Um, they have pretty good, um, uh, pretty good prices. So it's 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 not really expensive, but it saves lots of time and money for your project. Um, yeah, let me. Yeah, this is Speechify. I use it too super comfortable yeah and the interface is super pleasant so you will be enjoying working with this too uh, speaking of uh, visual content uh, which is definitely a great part of uh, marketing the crypto marketing strategy and NFT NFT content marketing uh, you, you, you can use a lot of maps uh, everyone love going crazy about maps uh, you can use uh, GIFs, you can use uh, photos, but it, it's not, you can't always take a picture, like hire a photographer, take a picture of a person uh, for a social media post, for example. That's why you can use robots too. Uh, there is one project that I use, it's called um, This Person Doesn't Exist. Um, this is basically a robot that, com that creates a non existent person. You just reload this page and uh, it gives you the automatically generated face yeah there are some uh, some 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 problems with them but uh, then you don't have to use stock images it's actually literally a new person you're creating yes 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 and uh, you can use that for commercial purposes which is highly important because um, 
because you won't have any troubles in future with this picture. Yeah, it's super easy. You just need to um, find these touch points where you have um, where you have bottleneck in content creation and optimize it uh, as much as you can. But um, optimization is pretty tricky when you um, use it in creative field because you definitely have to separate the, mm, the, the things that people have to do and the things that uh, robots can do. And uh, creativity, strategy and uh, visual design is uh, all about people's work. So uh, pick the right team, uh, pick the optimization, the automation tools and uh, yeah, you can get the, mo the smoothest and the most comfortable launch you will ever have. I can totally imagine because uh, especially for NFT projects, the quality is very important. Investors are definitely paying attention to that. So uh, picking the right people is definitely yeah, critical. What about when you are uh, creating the content? Is there any particular tone of voice uh, you would recommend, including maybe even live content, like for example, AMAs? which are Ask Me Anything um, events in usually uh, communities like Discord? Yeah, thanks, Rob. It's a great question. Speaking of tone of voice, first of all, you have to speak to your client and it's super important because the way you see the project can differ from the way the client see, sees the project. So you have to negotiate these things. Uh, do you refer like do you refer investors like your friends? Do you refer like your family or you refer like uh, professional investors? It's really important to find this balance between helping them and uh, selling to them. So yeah, and AMAs, Ask Me Anything session is uh, super important to find the balance between uh, the project and uh, investors. Uh, basically, it, it, AMA session can be held in Telegram, they can be held in Slack channel, they can be held in Twitter thread, uh, on Discord. Uh, so how it looks, someone from the team, um, from, the, from the project's team, uh, answers the questions of the audience, of the people who are on the channel. So it's, 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 super, uh, it's super relaxing atmosphere and uh, people can ask anything they like from the from sorry from the team uh, to like uh, technical things to to get to know more about the project to learn about the people behind the project to know the value of the project because sometimes marketers uh, can't really go to the core of the project and uh, someone from the team someone who's really passionate about the project can uh, get more involved can involve more the people uh, who are potentially interested in the project. Okay, thank you for that. And the final question is, uh, do you see any particular trends coming for NFT content marketing that might be interesting for our listeners to um, keep an eye on? Yeah, sure, Rob. Uh, as I mentioned before, optimization is, is a trend, but it's, it's like getting, everyone's getting used to it now. Um, I see the trend in handmade things like um, opposite from digitalization things. Uh, marketing goes to like guerrilla marketing, some kind of creating something from from scratch in real time connection, connecting it to digital world. This is number one. Number two, everything is going to web three. And number three, in my opinion, and I see this happening now, the, the banners, the content we're gonna be creating in future for Metaverse. Uh, we're not gonna be creating for, for Web 1, Web 2, the content. We're gonna do the marketing campaigns, we're gonna promote the project. We're gonna have fun in uh, uh, the central land and the project like that. So the quality, the, the image and visuals of this project, not super like, um, um, super cool now but I see it's like uh, a Game Boy in 90s so it's gonna be improving improving and more improving so yeah everything is gonna be gonna be creating in metaverse 
very exciting. Kind of 3D holographic content coming. Uh, yeah, interesting stuff. Thank you so much, Hanna. Very informative. Uh, and thanks everybody for listening. Stay tuned for our next episode, which is gonna air tomorrow. And I'm gonna talk to Dev and Reinhard about the crypto market going down while NFT prices seem to go up. So let's talk tomorrow and thanks Hannah again. Thanks Rob.